I'd love to hear from you. Give me a call, 1300 800 222, or send me a text, 0467 922 612. Peter's called in from Blackpart. You've got a particular bottle brush tree that you like. Can you tell me about this one, Peter? It's actually a bottle tree, oh. and it's situated uh, in the world's first so named Anzac Park at Tawong. Ah, which and is in Brisbane. Yes, it is. And as it happens, I showed my wife not three to four hours ago uh, when we drove down to, uh, she's going over to Cambodia tomorrow, so I had to drop her off at the airport. Um, and the tree was planted uh, in 19, well, transplanted in 1990 by Sally Ann Atkinson oh. uh, and was part of the refresh of Brisbane as it attempted to secure the right to get the 96 uh, Olympic Games, which Melbourne ended up winning the right to, to bid for it. Um, and it's a beautiful tree situated in Anzac Park, uh, right on the corner. And when it was transplanted, it would have had quite a panoramic view, but sort of time has uh, overtaken it and it's now quite lost in the foliage, which is a great shame. And I specifically remember at the time that it was referred to as the Anzac Day tree because obviously that made perfect sense in Anzac Park. Uh, and Sally Ann also did a bit of a refurb of a playground there. And a lot of the art buster statues from World Expo 88 ended up mm. in that particular part. And the reason why she did that was, was because there is a grove of trees, uh, World Expo 88 Rainforest Grove, that is sort of curled around uh, the bottom of the park uh, facing the Botanical Gardens and the Tawong Cemetery. And so it's just a wonderful part of Brisbane. Yeah. What do you love specifically about the bottle tree? Uh, just the describe... history. Yeah, the history it's of the tree. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it, that's what gets me. It's not overly huge. In fact, there were two transplanted at the time from a, a new housing estate in Wynnum. They were in the way of an entrance road. And so the council picked them up on the cheap. One of them went into Anzac Park to uh, replace one that had passed away. Um, and it's like three times the size uh, of the one in Anzac Park um, because it's obviously just got better soil and was better tended. And the poor old one in Anzac Park um, is just been left to fend for its poor old self. But I just I just love it because I, I either walk past or drive past um, and I just think of the history of it. Yeah. Um, yeah that's, so that's my... Love it. That's my favourite tree. Thank you so much, Peter. Thanks for calling in.